Welcome back to Satisfactory. We are currently at a very specific point of the game where I feel that we are slightly at an impasse for me to provide interesting content because, well, currently the stuff that I'm uh, building requires a huge amount of effort on my end to plan and, yeah... It's massive. Now that we can build these um, manufacturers, which are quite big, uh, the chains are getting very, very involuted. And the calculators online, well, they're not updated for update 3, that's for sure. So I've had to do uh, quite a bit uh, of uh, calculations today. Thankfully, I had help. I'm very grateful for that, Arakel. Thank you very much. And... I really want to release one episode per day. Uh, I had different reasons for not releasing an episode today. Um, but um, the, um, the current state where I'm at requires a huge, huge amount of planning, thinking, calculations and stuff. And I don't want these episodes to be too long. Um, but... I need more resources, so this episode we're going to set up a new uh, steel smelting outpost. Not be the most interesting thing, but uh, at least it's uh, content and um, this probably will be a multi-story uh, outpost as well. I've also uh, gotten quartz in, so uh, we, if we have time I'll uh, also make the uh, quartz refinery part. But before we go about that, I have researched in the hub the industrial manufacturing. Uh, for those of you who have watched the tutorial for a basic oil setup, you probably already figured that, as I do have the truck, and since I mentioned the manufacturer, for those of you who've played the game, you probably already have figured that one out. So the next few things that we need to automate are the heavy modular frames and the computers. Then I think that we will go with uh, researching the um, expanded power infrastructure next so that we can get um, primarily the uh, Mark IV belts and lifts. Fuel generators, those are nice, but um, I'm not really in any dire need of power currently. So, But of course we also have the uh, monorail train technology, which is uh, very... Uh, Tasty, and, uh, see, and uh, yes. <laughs> and then we have the mam. In the mam, I have under the uh, caterium tree, I've researched the um, high speed connectors and I've researched the inflated pocket dimension, giving us an additional five inventory slots, which of course is quite helpful. Under sulfur, I have researched the rifle, finally, and also, of course, the rifle cartridges. So I'm done with the uh, sulfur uh, research tree. You can see I have 113 cartridges in my inventory, and we're going to need it. Under quartz, I have researched the uh, quartz crystals so that I can start making those. And then the crystal, crystal oscillators comes next. I've also researched the uh, silica technology. And then under mycelia, I finished that by getting the parachute. Um, haven't used it yet. Might need it. Doubt it. But completionist, you know. I've also gotten two hard drives from my little ventures out to the uh, areas of uh, coal and... Uh, so from those I got the alternate blueprint for coke steel ingot, which I must admit is quite tasty. Coke steel ingot requires 15 uh, iron ore and 15 petroleum coke per minute, and then it manufactures 100 parts per minute of steel ingots. This one is very very interesting to me like massively interesting to me but since it's using petroleum coke 
that means that I would have to be using the um, plastic and the rubber that I'm manufacturing in my current basic setup. So I need the uh, fluid packaging technology before I can actually rely upon this recipe. The other uh, recipe that I got was the, uh, the alternate blueprint for um, heavy oil residue. I don't have the motors or the copper sheets, so I can't show that to you. Um, pick them up. If I stick this in there and take this one. I... At least there's a motor here. Just that. Now, making heavy oil residue as a primary product is an interesting thing. But for the petroleum coke res uh, research that I was just talking about for the uh, alternate steel recipe, it might actually be worth it. It takes uh, 40 crude oil, no, it takes 30 crude oil per minute and then outputs 20 polymer resin and 40 heavy oil residue per minute. But then again, I would need something to take care of the polymer resin, so... Although, I could just stick that into um, an awesome sink. Then, anyways... No, I almost forgot, almost forgot. I don't need the copper sheets, and I don't need the motors with me. So let's uh, put the copper sheets in here. Grab those. Uh, I'll put the motors... Do I have any motors in this workbench? No, I don't. Let's um, grab a stack of motors so we have that with us just in case we need it. I don't think we're going to need it, but I'd rather have it and be sure than having to have to go back to the base. Okay, I just need to quickly um, turn off the uh, darn fog. There we go. There we go, much better. I wish that was a toggleable option. It would have been uh, easier. I have expanded the Concrete Paradise extensively as well, but uh, for now, I uh, haven't used it for anything yet. So we're going to uh, drive out to the uh, area where I built the uh, copper miner. That's uh, an area that has two uh, pure iron nodes. And for those of you who watched the uh, Megabase Under the Trees series that I did together with Catherine of Sky and Exterminator, um, the tunnel up here leads to that area and that area has four normal coal nodes so i have two belts and mark three belts coming in uh with 240 coal on them each you can go through the tunnel here and you come out at, uh, at the area where we also harvested the quartz in in those series and uh we have two belts here of Coal and two belts of quartz, but I haven't connected them up to power yet. So let's go down to the uh, area where we're supposed to build. I've uh, cheated and uh, started already down there, but... Uh, here we are. Park the... Uh, truck here. I am a bit amused at how uh, bouncy this thing is because it almost uh, behaves like it was a buggy. It de most definitely isn't a buggy. But you can even move it. As a player you can actually move the thing yourself, which is uh... Oh god, I can't build today. Which is quite amusing to me I must admit. I mean, it's, it's a rather large car and i'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to move that around on your own okay so there is a bee here somewhere 
There you are. Okay, let's uh, take those out. Stand still. Ah, sneaky little bugger. There we go. Come on. No, you decided to fly off up there, did you? Now you're standing still. Well, you were standing still. I'll take out that one meanwhile. Would you just stand still? Thank you. So these are on pure notes, 240 per minute on a Mark II uh, minor. I'm not sure I should be building from here because I'm I've got no idea what I'm actually doing. Okay, let's I don't know, should we go one more out? Probably. I don't have the space required for uh, down these things now, so Let's just uh, do a more aggressive chopping. Take this, though. That is too high. So if we go one more out... I guess we can go another one out. Maybe even one more. Yep. That should work just nice. Let's build the uh, foundations to make it uh, actually look as if it's supported by something. Come on. Here we go. I think we need to have the... Uh, Noblesque detonator out currently. You, why don't you take a hike? Run away somewhere. Thank you. And uh, then I discover that I need the noblesque detonator after all. Kaboom. Uh, those rocks would be in my way. Uh, foundations, and we want the 8x2 uh, ramps. I don't like driving on the 8x4 ramps. They are uh, way too unruly, in my opinion. And then a couple more ramps like this. And this should suffice for us to be able to drive upon. Now we can just continue with building foundations this way. bees over there as well. Ah. I'm going to have to change the, uh, the belt here. Because I don't want it to look like this uh, now that I have foundations going on here. Let's just... Uh... I thought I missed one. Moving on. I like built quickly with this foundation, so that's that's something. There's a bird here. You you guys really need to go away. I'm sorry. I don't like killing them. But I need to be able to build. the final ones and 
I think I missed one there as well. we go okay now the next thing i want to do is build a power pole we we have some wasps to shoot it's one two i wish they changed the uh respawn stuff because it is actually quite annoying that the wasps respawn when you have active miners up um i know they're tweaking it but i have no idea how many wasps i've killed uh in this play session it is many 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 it does not make for a happy caledron I mean, they're not really dangerous, as in... They don't really kill you that easily, but they're... Very annoying. Massively annoying, is what they are. I'd have to go, uh... Visit the truck to get more uh, concrete. Don't go here. Dum -de -dum. Take all the concrete in the truck. Put the leaves in there. I also need to remember to make more nobelisks. actually drive the truck up because I can park it beside the, um, the mine. I'm not going to build anything uh, on this side of the uh, mines anyway, so this is a good parking lot. Here we go. There's also a pure iron node up there somewhere. Okay, let's dismantle the uh, power poles for now. Ah, the wasp is already back. Ah. Okay, we've got to reload this properly. There we go. Let's just build the foundations all the way that I leave the foundations on the copper uh, mine as is take these I guess it's time to uh, don't have too much space but uh, Let's start dismantling these. Kind of important to actually target them properly. I think that should suffice. Yeah, that's barely... I might have gotten some crates somewhere here, but I don't think so. There we go. 
Now I want to have... Since that one is there... I might just as well build a few more foundations out. So three of them out. We have the uh, necessary um, um, yeah, the necessary area that we need to build this. Let's build this at level two, and I think this is a, a pure node, so I think it's an MK3 belt. It would appear that way. It doesn't have power at the moment. But, um, that is uh, not an issue. That is too far away. So let's build a stackable conveyor pole here. Now, I think we want to move this up to level three. Or actually, we want to move it up to level four so that we can uh, lift it down again to level two. And that is so that I can drive underneath because I know that I'm going to have to drive in this area so there and there and we need a lift and mark 3 pick up the ore and connect it up like that and then we should be on this Angle. I don't think that's where we want it though. I think we want it here. I believe I put it at the middle. Did. That means we can build this one there. I want these to be at height 2. So we build a bed. That should be straight. Good. A lift going from there. Two down. And a belt going there. Now the conveyor pool that's supposed to feed to that one should be here and that one is on that so I believe it should be okay to put it there which means that the next should be here like so just check that that isn't too long I don't think it is I think it is just uh, enough and uh, indeed it is and connect that one up to that and this one up to that and there we go now we have a, a more suitable connection for the belt to go out through this area let's put this in and, uh, empty that out we can put this in as well Here we go. And then finally we want to have the ramps to drive down from this section. I believe it's fine to have the ramps here. Can I? Then we need... It's probably not necessary but... So then we can drive down and underneath there. Now you, uh, hello. Find somewhere else to go, thank you. Oh, 
Okay, uh, then the power. Power power is good. Power is very good, I've heard. Um, so, Arpo Mark II. I place that here. And I then place another Mark II pole here. Would you find somewhere else to be? Go away. Can I now connect this? I think it isn't too long. No, it isn't. But I do want to have a power pole Mark II here as well. Go away! Not that way, you idiot. Okay, that's it. That's it. You need to die. Yeah, run in there and, and get lost. I don't really like killing these, but I mean, they're benign. They do make for some very interesting jump pads, though. Connect that one to that one, then connect that power line to that one. Lesai. And then we need this power to actually connect up to the um, the actual power grid. If you were wondering where the wasps are, they're up there. Okay, so it's on this one. Is it there? Then I don't want to have it too close to the um, belt because it's just annoying to upgrade the belts. So connect that to that, that to that, that to that, and that to that, and then finally this one, and now we have power. That means that the belts up there should eventually fill up with uh, quartz and coal. Now, I don't know which ones are what, so... Uh... Yeah, you, you start running into the... Oh. Thank you. So, unless you're aware of this, these are excellent trampolines, for some reason. You can jump quite high from this. But again, I prefer not killing them, but they are respawning everywhere. So, I have them walking inside the concrete foundations of my main base, for instance, which is not at all helpful in any way. But, annoyances uh, about the creatures aside, um, what we now need to do is uh, start setting up the foundries. Should be interesting, because they require both coal and... I put the, uh, the driveway here. A down conveyor pole. Mark the area so that I know where I'm going to build. Over here we have the area starts all the way there. Which means that we should probably have three, maybe four. Four. We'll have this area clear. 
And being able to drive in this area is fine. So then the next part is setting up the foundries. And I want to have them on that line. Oh, that's not ideal. I need modular frames for these. I do have another stack in the truck, but I, I need eight for now. So we have enough currently. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now, eight of these when using the regular steel ingot recipe requires 90 and 180 for 4 which means 360 for all 8 I have more than that so let me just do the um, the quick little calculation here 240 divided by 45 is 5.3 so I actually need to build 10 I'm not going to bother with the uh, building I'm not going to bother building 12 to have uh, two of them running at 33% and the reason for that is simply that Actually, I might have to. To get 240 out. Which would be one Mark III belt. Let me just pause the recording while I go back and get more rotors and uh, modular frames. Here we go. Picked up some more concrete as well while I was back there, so... Uh, foundry... And have to put up two more of them. Wrong way. One and two. Steel ingot and steel ingot. And we should make sure that it's the final one on each of the lines that is clocked at 33%. There we go. Each mark. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the. Um... That's interesting. Three, four, five, six. Just need to mark that so that I know where the center is. And then we have the very interesting um, conundrum of how to make this work in the best way possible. Of course, we're going to need to use splitters for this. I seem to recall that splitter needs to be three away for a lift to function. Try that again. Build a lift. See if that is correct. Yeah. Three away. That's perfect. We need to build four splitters. On each of these. And I understand why it doesn't give me the uh, the green line I really wish it did I'm gonna put down conveyor poles on each of these to get the green line because it's slightly annoying that I don't get the green line Ah, 
See, it's already respawned. There's too many of them. Now I should get the green line, I hope. No, I was sorely mistaken. I did not get the green line. Oh well. Guess I can just run this again then. And if you hear Gizmo in the background, uh, there is a serious. Uh, what's it called? Um, grooming going on. Um, now I'm a bit worried about that. This is a straight one. This is a straight one. This is a straight one. This is not a straight one. This is a straight one. And this is also not a straight one. Well, that's not ideal that I have to be that close to one another. Or how... I mean... Can I even connect them to one another? Yes, I can, but barely. Yeah. I don't know why it turns around the... Um arrow like that when I stack them on top of one another. It is a bit annoying. Maybe it's a bug or something that they need to fix or, or it's intended behavior. If it is intended behavior it's very peculiar behavior. This looks like an interesting... looks like cupboards. Okay. Now, we need lifts. I think I should... S remove you. You're just going to be in the way. We need... MK1 lifts for this. Right, to be honest. I put a conveyor pole. That's on level two. Okay, I am doing it right. A oh, few. One of the downsides of building it like this is that more difficult to walk around behind boundaries and so forth. Tear down these. Tear down that one. Uh, 
and that one gone you go so we have floating splitters that's fine I think that when I just click immediately it does connect them because where else would it connect? So even though I'm not really that huge of a fan of the uh, floating splitters and mergers thing, this is, as far as I've been able to tell, the most structured way to um, don't need that to build this specific setup. Uh, I don't think you can get it any cleaner than this. Now, we want to have these two clear of any kind of uh, interference, so the conveyor pole should be on that thing. Is this? No, it is straight. So I need to build a belt out of this. That makes it straight. One, two, three. I don't think we need that one. Um, then we need a conveyor belt MK3, sorry, Mark 3, and connect it up there. Then a Mark III elevator or lift. And we can connect this up to that. Okay, so now we have iron ore coming in there. Which means that we need one of the coal belts to come down from the mountain top up there and then attach itself to this. Planning on keeping these trees, but uh, sadly that's not going to happen as they are in the way. So we have c two coal belts up there. Um, they are Mark three, So I can lift them down. To think. Want them to attach here. Oh, can I just belt directly from there to there? I can. How convenient. Then just connect this up to that. Then I can connect that one up to that. The final thing that remains now is to power up this thing. That sound is quite soothing. There goes the iron ore as well. And they're starting to fill up. Very good, very good. So, of course, the next process now is to power these things. And for obvious reasons, we cannot do that from can. Well then. And I shall build the power poles here. I did not expect that. 
actually building these power poles here is a bad idea until I've built the lifts. I remember struggling greatly when I did this uh, at a, an, a different vocation. So let's just build the uh, power poles where we've already built. Oh no. Can connect those power poles to one another. And let's connect them like that. Not power pole, power line. No power is perfectly fine because I haven't connected up the power yet. The question is, that one is on this angle. So that means that I can either put it here. I don't think I can get a straight line. cannot you know what two straight oh I think that's the straight line now we have power this foundry is, of course, working at 33%, making 14.8 parts per minute. The rest of them are working at uh, maximum efficiency. Let's do the... Uh, let's just make sure that my math isn't completely off. So I have 45 being made in 5, which is 225. And then... Plus 14.8 is 239.8. What we actually want to do is clock this at 34% so that we get a little above 15. I think it's 15.1. No, 15.3. So we want to clock those at 34% and that fills up one mark rebelt. It doesn't fill it up, but it's 240 which is what I want to have on the belt. Belt can sustain 270. I'll connect up the other ones in between episodes, and uh, in the next episode I guess that either we're going to do the, uh, the quartz part of this uh, facility, or I'm going to be doing the... Uh, the next level of what I'm going to do with these steel products, but I might do that the uh, intermediary products like the, the steel rods and the steel beams in between episodes as well. I'm not really sure. So I guess next episode will be a surprise. So with that said, thank you all so very much for joining me and I will see you all next time.